in the anti-war element that went over to North Vietnam to support our enemy. They would choose one of us, clean us up, shave, haircut, present us to the delegation as proof of their good treatment. They took the clippers into the new guy. I felt he couldn't identify. The one was broken up so badly. The next day, I peek into my crack in the door. Outside this prison cell was a pile of hair, white, no, fluorescent hair. It was, it was, uh, it, it, it was astounding because most of us were young fighter pilots, and to have a fighter pilot show up that was prematurely gray, I, I, I looked and I watched and I thought, that might be my flight instructor. That might be John McCain. But of course, I knew the great naval tradition of the McCain family. And so the next time I got outside my cell with my bucket going towards the sewer, as I passed that cell, I let the guard get a little ahead of me, and I was old. I dealt my bucket. Came back past that cell, very faintly from inside the cell. I heard John came. <laughs> Over the next several months, I watched this man in the crack the door. And if character is evidenced by an action that someone does when he thinks nobody is looking,
a man that puts America first and not his own personal agenda. When you watch a man that has the courage and character of John McCain, that's a guy I want as my president.